So you're going out on your scooter. The sensible rider would make a few checks of his bike before he went. All these bikes are different, from the Chinese imports, to the Japanese machines, to some of the French bikes. You have to know exactly what you've got. You have to know whether you've got a four-stroke engine or a two-stroke engine. You have to know whether you've got water cooling or air cooling or fan cooling. You have to know whether you've got chain and sprocket transmission or direct drive or variator belt. There's so many different mopeds out there, we can't cover them all in this film for you. So my advice would be to check exactly what you've got, look in your handbook and make the appropriate checks. But you know that the bike's got to be safe before you ride it and that applies to all the bikes. So check that your lights work, check that your high and low beam works, that your horn works, that your indicators work and cancel. Check that your brakes work, front and rear. Have a look at your tyres. Are they in good condition? Have they got good tread? Are they properly inflated? Have a look at the bodywork of your bike. A lot of these bikes, because of the novice riders that use them, end up being thrown down the road. And in those small, lightweight collisions, the body panels come loose and they flap. Even if it means cable tying it back in place, do that. Do not ride along with the body panels flapping. It'll take you a minute or two to go through your bike to make sure everything works. It's a minute or two that could save your life and it's a minute or two that increases your enjoyment when you're out with your mates on your scooter.